is going to tell everybody that I'm a doxer because I fucking put a picture of a guy's face on a meme because it was out there on a fucking channel under his screen and linked to his Facebook with his fucking like screen name. Well, you know, let's under- talk a little bit about doxing, right? Because because it's an interesting subject. Uh, it's the same like talking about violence, right? Like violence can mean anything from slapping someone on the face, on the cheek, to getting an axe and just you know ramming it into someone's throat over and over. And it's the same with doxing. Like you, if, if you use someone's name once or you put a picture on a meme that's doxing and that means you're a doxer and that means that anything is now okay to be done to you including posting your entire home address your phone number your employer you know and, and it's the same thing it's like you, you notice someone that pokes someone it's like ah he's into violence okay and then, then you bring the baseball bat to just beat yeah then, then it's okay to shoot him in the face <laughs> yeah it's okay well you were into violence mate you know you slap someone you are into violence so of course it's okay for you to get shot in the face now well, but I mean that that is kind of their the tactic that's used a lot is, you know, they they get it they do this kind of stuff and then if you do anything about that they they have no shame about going out and you know King of Pole he will come on and he will accuse me of being a doxer and being associated with this guy named Zoom because I did streams with him before some videos came out that were very questionable. Well, King of Pole was the one who introduced me to Zoom, so the association thing is right there. And the, the guys who were out there saying, oh, Joachim is a pedophile defender or, you know, interacts with pedophiles because this guy who I don't even know what the truth is about it. I don't I'm not honestly convinced, but whatever. But there are screenshots from tonight of them trying to get the guy on a fucking stream. Right. So they're they're yeah, hanging right. out with him still. Yeah. Including yeah. him. They're, they're out there talking to him right now, trying to get him. But, you know, I'm the one associating with him. Right. That's what King of Pole will say. He'll also say that I doxed somebody. Because while I was being threatened, while other people were being threatened with docs, and while all these girls were being harassed with docs, you know, that there was some research being done, and I was I was given some docs that I never used, and most of them are deleted, if not all of them, you know. And I put out one guy's face that was available publicly on his YouTube channel under his name linked to his actual Facebook that basically let him know, hey, your information's out there in the public world. But I'm a doxer, and this is all being led by the guy who literally doxed Coach Red Pill and has doxed plenty of other people. So, you know, it's just very funny that that is always the accusation, right? Because, oh, doxing is the worst thing in the world, except when we do it, then it's justified, right? I mean, I, I was involved into the Coach Red Pill drama, you know, because I name dropped Coach Red Pill. Like, that, that is literally it. And it was to tie him to a story. I didn't give his address or anything like that. And it's like, okay, so V is a doxer. And then it's okay to get all of my private information out there, which is fine because it's, you know, like I, I said that I'm okay with it. I don't, I don't consider it doxing, but, you know, also my parents after that and, you know, other relatives. My, my parents didn't dox anyone, right? So it's not for a just cause for, like, uh, in, in order to, to bring virtue to the world. It, it's just a reason in order to, to go after someone and try to see what pisses them off. Yeah, because they, they don't they don't care about the truth or hypocrisy or anything else. Now you're expected to because you're a public figure. But oh, we're just shit posters. We're just having fun. We, you know they they don't care, right? And that's why one of the reasons why King of Pole loves being able to go on boards and anonymously post. Um, you know, there's definitely some rumors circulating that um, the other night when the kill stream was going on, you had Tonka and JF tearing into it. There was a fake exceptional detective in there. Well, there are some Discord records that show that that fake exceptional detective was probably the real exceptional detective. But, you know, oh, that totally wasn't me, guys. That was that was somebody. They stole my identity. Oh, God. You know, meanwhile, he can just do all that kind of shit. Yeah, but I think, like, uh, people don't really mind. Uh, the, the, the thing that really boggles my mind with this, right, is that I know most of these people that you're talking about, they, they like watching the Worski show. They like watching the Kumate and they exactly. like watching that they, they like watching JF stuff, right? So why are they trying to ruin their own shows? Like I understand if they would go after my channel because they they don't like watching my shit. Because but, you're all filthy e celebs who need to burn. Yeah, but then, that, then why are they watching it if that's the case? Because they're hate watching, man. I don't know. Like, I feel like my most active watchers, most involved fans, are also the ones that you know. Not all of them. There's certainly some very good people out there who you know are very just they're normal people who are getting involved with this. But you know, internet people, man, like people who just do not have a fucking life outside of this, who who live and breathe for causing drama and burning it down. So for them, while they would be totally like, oh my god, you know, I never get on Worski, I could never be on the stream with that many people. But for the idea, the idea of them that they could hurt Worski. That's what they get. It's, I think it's honestly kind of like uh, you remember when John Lennon got shot by that fan. 
Uh, it's, no, it's I'm, not, I'm not familiar with the stuff. Okay, well, like some some fucking crazed fan. I, I think that's what killed him, right? Is they climbed the fucking fence to his compound and shot him. You know, people people who are fans, the the vast majority, ninety nine point nine nine percent of fans are just normal good people who enjoy the show. Now there can be drama and the fan base can get split, but you're going to get like crazy people that also watch stuff that enjoy stuff a little bit differently. Mm. And on the internet, you know, you don't have a label on like if a Terry Davis video comes out or whomever, you're not going to get the label. By the way, this guy's fucking completely nuts and off his meds. All you're going to see is the guy posting in the chat the fucking 30 paragraph long thing about CIA niggers, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, the, the, again, like the, you, you say they're hate watching, but I noticed that they were engaging with the material. Like it's one thing to hate watch and... Even if something is like so bad, you're not going to hate watch. Like I don't want to hate watch the Young Turks, for instance, because they just utterly piss me off. Like I, I can't just stand them. You know, the only time I watch them is when I need to make a video on my channel, and that is like once a month, and it's way too strain on my psyche. But they're watching it religiously, and they're engaging with the content. Like they're saying, "Oh yeah, you know the what the guest said over there. That's a good thing. That's the, the, I really like the way they phrase that shit." So clearly, they're, they're enjoying the content, and by doing the actions that they're doing, they're destroying the things that they like to watch. Well, there are also some people, like uh, the other night on Ralph's stream, that there was a woman who was just donating $20 just to talk, $20 at a time, just to talk shit so her, her shit talk could be read on screen. Like, there are people like that, too. Like, who just hate, who hate watch it, and then hate donate, and fucking give you money just to shit talk you. Well, and maybe that's kind of the nature of the streaming as a platform, right? Is that it's the most interactive kind of medium that there's been so far. You know, and radio used to be call-in shows, and sure, you'd, you'd get cranks too on back then. Oh, but God, you know, great. now you now you get the live chat and the people who live in live chats and people who do nothing but stream and watch shit all day. And yeah, you know, they they can reach out and touch you. And some of those people, instead of you know wanting to interact, they want to reach out and hurt you or hurt whoever they can. You know. Yeah, I, I kind of get that, but it's it's just like I don't think those people religiously watch that. I mean, okay, so, oh, they so do. Like, they do. The people in your cow threads, the people who were fucking with you on when cow was really fucking with you, V. Hmm. Like I remember when Medicare came on your show and was trying to help you. The fucking people on cow that your thread was blowing up, and honestly, it's funny because a lot of them were in there like pretty sympathetic to you in a way. You know, like they didn't want to see that happening to you. But they also were like, well, you know, it's just, let's just fucking poke this and see how far it goes. How far can we push them? Because for them, it's entertainment, right? Well, the, the just somebody I, on the I, I did got a lot of steam off Sargon by uh, by talking about the cowboards and, you know, because the idea is to ignore the trolls. But I made an actual video showing the cowboards, hoping they would go after me. Because uh, they, they were like going after Sargon, calling the police on him, doing all of this shit. Well, congratulations, um, you played yourself. Yeah, but uh, at the end of the day, there, there wasn't, uh, uh, how, how should I say, like, Jim was talking about people that killed themselves over this shit, you know? Um, yeah, well, and that's what, I mean, that's what, and in the end, anyone the internet interacts with, they want to do that, too. Like, uh, Alex, you were telling me the other night about, what, what was it you called Chris Chan? The internet's greatest experiment or something? Yeah, the internet's greatest experiment, yeah, like... Over the years, they've they uh, they've mentally broken him multiple times. When he was an autist, he had all, every every control up, and then there was the brilliant motherfucker who put the bug in his ear to become a to become a tranny, and there was the other bug who uh, put it in his ear. Oh, you need to you need to you need to pierce your taint to become a woman. So you had the unclip, the whole piercing rejected. It's just he he's falling far farther and farther and the internet keeps poking him and poking him because it's funny and so, I, I think generally they want everyone to be christian like yeah and to, go back, to, and to go back to the hate watching thing for a minute like you could look up the wings of redemption thing that uh, jim's about to drop or you could go look at dsp tell me that people don't hate watch dsp like everyone hate watches DSP. There's yeah, but I don't, I don't like think people. Fucking, yeah, uh, everyone hate water. watches DSP, but I don't think people would want DSP to stop streaming. Like if DSP would run off the internet tomorrow, you know, the people hate watching him would be upset that. Oh, they would feel so proud of themselves, though. Yeah, the, 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 that group, they would that, get a huge kick from it. That group of people, the de of the most dedicated trolls, they they'd feel like they finally achieved victory. They won the war. It's all they see it as. The, the the end game is to get them to quit or to kill themselves on stream. You know, when, it, when you put it like that, maybe you have a point. What, what do you think, Devil? 
think uh, I think Devil left us. No, I'm sure if Henry Kaku is updating your cooking cow thread right now. <laughs> <laughs> Could be, you never know. <laughs> sorry, sorry, guys. You sorry. Know pesky Canadians. I, I was going to ask, what do you think about people hate watching? Um, do do they want the thing they hate watch to go away? Like, w if someone hate watches the SP, would would they want the SP to go away? Yeah, sorry, I, I was I was just stepping out for a second. Sorry. Um, I think. I, I think the ultimate goal is to get them to go away, and I, I don't think the the argument of um. Oh, they'll miss them because now they don't have a source of lulls. I don't, I don't think that holds in any water. Be I, I don't think that holds any water because there's so many other sources out there. The internet's huge, you know. Once exactly. you run, yeah, you, you you just run one DSP off. There's going to be another one. Yeah, I don't think I don't think there can be another DSP. I'm sorry. No, there, there is. There's a black one. There's a, a fucking black side Phil. What's his name? Uh, <laughs> black black side Phil. A low tier god. That's his fucking name. Oh, I didn't. I didn't and watch that, it. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then there's like, and especially like the, and then there's the IRL streamers that big hangs out with LA in LA. If you watched the Ralph stream last night, that place that was a fucking absolute shit show. 